Hello, call me Dave. Been a little while, as you know. Uh, well, let's have a little bit of fun, shall we? You know, when I was a kid, I used to love Tom Hanks films. One of my favourites was Big. You know, when it, when he when he was old time machine and he couldn't get on the ride with it to impress the woman. He puts the money in, says, I want to be big. Next day, he wakes up and he's a fucking 30-year-old man. His voice has gone deep. His balls are dropped. Day before, he barely had a fucking pube to his name. Well, I tried this bloody Zoltar machine. I found it at the seaside. Nothing happened for me. I woke up the next day. I was exactly the same. However, I had a fucking great cock instead. <laughs> yeah. My mum, she always said, he's a one, isn't he? He's a one. I said, I don't know, I might be a two. I was a right little shit when I was younger. You know what I mean? Yeah, what do you call a man with a rug on his head? Matt. Bloody it. Dad jokes. Yeah, my missus is addicted to buying women's magazines. Honestly, she has lots of issues. <laughs> lots of fucking issues. I'm sorry. My dentist is so good. They gave him a national award recently. And they gave him some plaque to put on the wall. <laughs> they gave him a plaque to put on the wall. Oh, my God. Imagine winning an award and getting some of the stuff you clean off. Is that taking the piss? My friend accidentally drank a bottle of invisible ink. He's in A&E right now waiting to be seen. <laughs> waiting to be fucking seen. What a bell end. I went into the army, army surplus store. I said, I'm looking for some camouflage trousers. I couldn't find any. <laughs> well, they're all fucking camouflage, aren't they? You know what I mean? My manager took me in the office today. Cheers. He didn't say cheers. He said, that's been tough lately on the ward. I want you to have a good day today. So I went home. I fucking did have a good day. Excuse me. Hmm. Yeah, nice tip. My friend bought a cat with eight legs and he found out it can swim. I said, what do you call it? He said, that's an octopus. <laughs> I ordered Domino's pizza the other day. I was waiting a fucking hour. I called him up. I said, is it going to be long? He said, no, nah, it's going to be round like every other pizza, mate. I felt like a right twat. And that took me ages recently, but I, my friend, he's blind. And I got him a job. I called him and, he, and he, I said, how would it go? He went, I quit on the first day. I said, why did you quit? He said, I just couldn't see myself doing that job. <laughs> He's fucking blind, isn't he? Of course he couldn't fucking see himself. Uh, my friend at work was upset. She bought herself a new pony. She only had it a week and that was ill. Had a bad cough. So on my break, I got her a pack of lockets. I said, give these to the pony. That will help. She said, Why? I said, that's a little horse. <laughs> it's a fucking pony, isn't it? You know? My little pony. Well, actually, that was her little pony. But you know what I fucking mean, don't you? My mate was moaning about his partner. He says, she keeps blowing hot and cold. I said, at least she's blowing something, mate. Think of all of the married people out there, you know what I mean? Fucking Hoover don't even suck. Yeah. My missus is amazing in bed. Until I join in. She had an intense orgasm last night. That must have been intense. She nearly woke up. You know what I mean, ladies, don't you? You know what I bloody mean? Fucking hell. My friend, he bought his son a new bike for his birthday. He said, look, Dad, no hands. Next day, look, Dad, no feet. Next day, no fucking teeth. Fucking A&E. You know, obviously fell off, you know. I shouldn't have to explain me fucking jokes here, but no fucking teeth. Scientists say that dry skin is caused mostly by a lack of water. A towel causes most of my dry skin. Eh, sorry. What word does everybody pronounce wrong? Wrong, isn't it? <laughs> eh, I was reading the newspaper. India and Pakistan are close to fighting again over Kashmir. I said, can't we buy them a fucking jumper each? The Pakistani military general said, and I quote, if you see an Indian soldier on our fucking territory, shoot him on the spot. Not my words. Fuck me. I'm in the shit now. Uh, deeper shit than a puff prick. Mm. 
It's a nice drop, that is. Co op. 10 quid. Bloody hell. It was Paddy's birthday, and he went up to bed, and his missus was naked. Spread eagle on the bed. Curly clock springs, you know, money box, you know. She said, you know what I want, don't you? He said, by the looks of it, you want the whole fucking bed, don't you? <laughs> fucking hell. You know, everything was annoying me the other day. I'm cool and calm pretty much all the time, but us men get a lot of flack these days. I was looking out the window, and there's, there's two pigeons having it off in full view of everyone in the garden. And I kept thinking to myself, well, if he can shag a nice bird and still sit on the fence... Why the fuck can't I? Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I had a job interview recently. I told my mate about the male interviewer. I said he weren't very receptive to me. I just got a feeling he didn't like me. He went, oh, what a bummer. I said, no, he weren't gay. He just didn't appreciate my presence. I said, what a bummer. Uh, he didn't rearrange the furniture and stick a quiche in the oven. He just didn't like me. You know what I mean? I was with this girl one night in a nightclub, and we were dancing. She was a big girl. Six foot four. She started kissing me. I put my hand on her ass, and she grabbed my balls really hard, and she went, are you trying to get into my knickers? I said, no. You've got the wrong end of the stick, love. My fucking stick. You know what I mean? Christ. Oh, I should have said, you got the wrong end of my stick. Fuck it. It's so tight. Like bad pants. They've recently started sex education lessons in the community centre. So I said to the lads, well, go along for a laugh, you know. And last night, that was cunnilingus lessons. And we went in, and there was all these women there with their legs open and their hairy beavers out, you know. And was, honestly, I didn't know where to put my fucking face. I said to the missus, next week's lesson is on fellatio. She said, fellatio? I don't think I'm going to have sex while singing opera. Nah, can't do it. Bit thick sometimes. I said to her, you, you got a dodgy Scylla, you know, the old Scylla Black. You need to go and see a chiropractor. She said, why do I need an Egyptian doctor? You can't fucking write these, could you? Yeah. What do you call a gay dinosaur? A fucking megasaur ass. Why I put that in that, that place, I'll never fucking know. I phoned up a sex line the other day, just for a laugh with the lads. And this woman answers, she had a stutter. I had to hang up. By the time she told me her name, it cost me fucking £6.50. Bloody hell. I was having sex with the missus the other day. And halfway through, she said, what do you want for dinner tomorrow? I fucking romance is dead, eh? I said, I'd like a battered sausage. I was just about to say it in chips. She said, if you don't hurry up, you'll fucking get one tonight. Battered sausage. Fuck it hell. The other day, someone questioned me. They, they said, you act like you don't care. I said, believe me, it's not an act. I don't fucking care. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it hell. Uh, talking about Tom Hanks films earlier, we don't, the big one. Well, remember Forrest Gump? He said, laugh is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And I said, no, life is like fucking oral sex, mate. One slip of the tongue, you're in the fucking shit. Eh. Well, go and have a look. They still do that Zoltar machine in the arcades. But they don't have the slot to put your coin through anymore. Do you know what I mean? We all like to get our coin in the slot now again, don't we? <laughs> Another sip. Mm. Lovely. Goes down lovely. Just like the missus. My mate's missus is a right cow. I mean, she's a right cow. I bought him a new sign for Christmas. Instead of beware of the dog, it said, fuck the dog, watch out for the missus. That bitch bites, you know? Fuck it hell. Anyway, I had, a, I had a bit of Roger Ring last night. I had the best sex ever. She just kept coming and coming. The fucking sheets were wetter than the Scottish summer. And I, th I went to the doctor's the next day. I thought, I'll, I'll ask, why should she have all the fun? I said, doctor, can us men have multiple orgasms? He said, uh, come again, sir. I said, exactly. Can we do that? Fuck it hell. 
I was like asking it in fucking Swahili or something. My friend said to me, he said, you keep in good shape, don't you? I said, well, rounds are good shape. I said, I practice Wim Hof breathing methods and cold plungers. I go in the icy water, what cold showers and all of that. That's really good for you. You want to try it? I won't tell you what he said, but that sounded like fucking Wim Hof. You can fucking Wim Hof, mate. <laughs> sounded like Wim Hof, anyway. Yeah. Me mate the other day at work was moaning at me. I said, look, no one is perfect. Everyone's ass has a crack in it, mate, honestly. Yeah, fucking standards people live by these days. Yeah. I was speaking to my mate about his daughter. He said, they keep chopping and changing the swimming teachers at the old swimming school. He said, my daughter's going backwards now. I said, that's cool, fucking backstroke, mate. The next lesson is a front crawl. That's why she's going fucking backwards. <laughs> As in, yeah, you know what I mean. Remember when you did swimming lessons? If you're, I don't know, 30 plus. They make you swim down and get a fucking brick out of the swimming pool. Fuck the brick. Your life's worth more than that. They make you do it in your pyjamas as well. It's just a brick. And anyway, why are your pyjamas? Unless you're a fucking shit sleepwalker. You're never going to see that scenario fuck play out, are you? When do you fall in the river in your fucking pyjamas? Do it in your clothes and actually save a person because you'll need the actual fucking skill. Fuck the brick. The bricks are everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's more of a rant than a joke. I now do alternative comedy. The alternative is you could just fuck off and do something interesting. <laughs> yeah. Most blokes just be watching some fucking porn about this time, aren't they? Fucking bashing one out. Uh, hey, me mate come back from a party a little while back. He'd had a few sherbets. His missus said, that's not my lipstick on your shirt, is it? He said, of course it's not. You can't keep your fucking mouth shut long enough to kiss me on my fucking shirt. <laughs> <laughs> we love you women, though. We do. Well, I'd be fucking speaking to myself if there weren't no women around, wouldn't I? You know what I mean? My friend's missus, she's been on a diet. And she's been exercising, you know, spandex, outside, them tight fucking trousers. She says she feels like a new woman now. He said, yeah, so do I. You know what I mean? <laughs> he feels like a fucking new woman. <sighs> well, she keeps her up, you might get one. As I get older, I've developed a few habits. I keep talking to the missus when I'm having sex. I even called her from the fucking hotel last night, you know what I mean? That's how keen I am. All right, love? You know. I got talking to the woman outside the pub the other night. I bought her a drink and that. She was smartly dressed. I said, what do you do for a living? She said, I'm a prostitute. I said, well, blow me. She said, that would be 50 quid, please. Huh? Fucking hell. Look too smart to be a prostitute. Maybe they'd go on upmarket, you know. Just after that, I went in the pub and I accidentally went in the ladies. I'd had a few sherbets. I went in there. This woman was shouting at me. This is for ladies only, mate. I'd be cocking me hand. I went, so is this, love, I'll tell you. This is for ladies only. I had me big cock in my hand, you know. Uh, I went to this house party. It was packed. Everyone was in the fucking kitchen. They're always in the kitchen at a party. You know? I took a big bowl, chopped fruits, wine, spirits. I said, mix it all in this bowl. I went and plonked it in the living room. I went, punch anybody? Some twat fucking hit me right in the face. Every cunt started fighting. I never did find out why. Fucking punch anybody. Yeah. My mate said, there's a rumour going around that you've got a 12-inch cock. I said, I know, I fucking started it, mate. Why not? <laughs> Who's going to find out? I've got a big cock here. I went to Jimmy's farm a little while ago. They got a fucking polar bear. Well, they got three. Must be sweating his fucking tits off. And I noticed that two of them got a lovely wooden house with, with lots of ventilation. And the other one's got a brick one. And there's a bed of straw in there. I said to the farm assistant, why has the, the brick one got a, a bed of straw in it? He said to keep it warm. When the fucking thing comes from the North Pole, it's minus 40. Swimming in the fucking ice, you know? Doesn't need to keep fucking warm. <laughs> Fucking keep warm. It's a fucking polar bear, isn't it? 
Yeah. At Mrs. Birthday, I got her a French horn. She opened it. She said, what the fuck is this for? I said, I play piano and guitar. I practice my finger on every night. I thought you should do your bit, you know, blowing the French horn. <laughs> yeah. My missus woke me this morning. She was on a work do last night. I think she must have been drunk when she got in because I heard her go in the toilet and a little bit of a kerfuffle. The next morning she woke up. She went in the bathroom and heard her. <laughs> She's only put a party popper in there. Pulled the fucking string. Boom. Nearly blew her minge off. <laughs> That's just a sick story in my fucking head. I will bet you someone's done it. Put it in the fucking comments if you know somebody who did that. Fucking hell. When I was at the, at the zoo, Jimmy's farm, zoo license, same shit. There was a geezer there with a camera. I swear to God, the fucking lens was a metre long. This fucking long. I just said to the geezer, you could have took a picture of the fucking polar bears out your bedroom window with that fucking lens, couldn't you? What are you going to do next? Point it at Uranus? I said, you can do that with a fucking mobile phone and a mirror, mate, can't you? You know? You can get a good old picture of the Crystal Palace transmitter with that fucking thing, can't you? Yeah. <laughs> I apologise. I'm in a funny mood today, of course. Anyway, quick rant. What's wrong with the fucking TV these days? I put the TV on. I never watch TV. I put it on today. Every other fucking advert is either pure cremations or fucking co-op funerals. Do they know something that we don't? Or fucking what? So, I'm always helpful and positive. Eat as many vitamins and minerals as you can find. Drink plenty of water and get some exercise. And don't give them the fucking satisfaction of being right. I keep smiling. That's good for you. That's why I do this shit. I like cheering people up. I used to sing. I used to tell some jokes. I love it. Don't let them get you down. Enjoy every minute. You know, when I was younger, I was a boxer. You know, I don't. I wear a mask now. Fucking nose is still pressed against me cheek. I had 30 fights. Most of them with the missus. You know what I mean? <laughs> if you want to be a boxer, you have to have a good name. You know, the greatest, Muhammad Ali, Iron Mike Tyson... Marvellous Marvin Hagler. Khaki ass Dave didn't fucking suit me. Do you know what I mean? My trainer said to me, he said, I thought you wanted to get a few rounds in. I said, yeah, at the fucking bar. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'll have a wine, please, John. Anyway, in my last fight, the third round came. My trainer said, you told me you were going to take him out early. I said, I would have, but I left me fucking rifle in the changing room. You know what I mean? Uh, take him out early. Uh, well, I came second quite a bit. I mean, just like in the bedroom. I think it's polite. I mean, you have to. The missus prefers it that way. She should always come first. A couple of times, or three. Uh, I had to cancel a fight once after a pillar fight with the missus. She had a fucking ten-pound sledgehammer in a pillowcase. Bastard. Uh, the other day I fell out with a Scottish fella. He said, what's your fucking beef? I said, a Scottish Angus burger. I thought, he wouldn't expect me to say that. As I was Scottish, kept him on the, yeah, kept him good. Keep him guessing, that's what I say. He was expecting to say, me to say, okay, to do, or some shit. See you, Jimmy. Yeah. I was with his escort a little while back, not the car, you know, a lady. She said, that's 50 pound a night with me. I said, I'll give you 75 quid if we can do it my way. Not the fucking karaoke song. She said, what's your way like? I said, my way is a pound a week. Get your kit off, love. <laughs> and I did it my way. Uh, I had to. I had to. It's the best karaoke song in the world. I loved it. Uh, I should have more fun more often. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.